This is episode number 471 of the Health and Fitness Podcast, brought to you by Inner Fight in association with Smith Street Paleo. Hop over to smithstreetpaleo.com, check out all the yummy food. Who doesn't love yummy food? Check out all the yummy food over on smithstreetpaleo.com. And if you want, check out the meal plan section over there. You can get food delivered to your home or office five, six, or seven days a week. And it is Damn good. I can tell you that because I eat it. Of course, we're still running as we have been for a long time. If you rate and review the podcast over on iTunes, then we will send you a goodie bag of Smith Street Paleo goodies. How good is that? It is super, super, super simple and super straightforward. Welcome back, folks, to another edition of our weekly update show. Yes, I am on my own again. Andre has just jetted off this morning. He is on his own as we dis- on his way as we discussed last week to the German throwdown, which takes place this weekend. He flew out to Frankfurt this morning, so you've got me for the next ten or fifteen minutes to take you through our weekly updates here on the Health and Fitness Podcast. Hope you've all had a good week. It is Sunday. Hope the weekend went well. Hope last week was good, and I hope that you are ready. For the week to come. Closing out last week, we said it the week before, and you guys enjoyed it. The ones that follow our program, if you don't follow it and you want our gym programming, the class programming, just hop over to innerfight.com. You can find every single daily workout over there. We called Thursday's workout as the highlight of the week, and you guys absolutely loved it. It was a 29 minute AMRAP, a blend as Matt Jones called it, of DT and Magnon. DT being 12 deadlifts, 9 hang power cleans, and then 6 push press. And that's the easy part of the workout, really, because then it went into a 400 meter run and 29 back squats. Relatively light looking weights, 60 kilos black men, 40 kilos women, but it really did put people through their paces. That was the highlight of this week's program. And looking forward, actually, to next week, I've got my pick. I've actually got two because Andre is not here this week. So I've picked two conditioning pieces from next week that I particularly think you guys are going to enjoy. The first one is on Monday, and it is some interval-based work. Every three minutes for seven rounds, you're going to do 30 double unders or 60 skips, then straight into seven dumbbell front squats. So you're going to have double dumbbells, front rack, on your shoulders, maybe if the coach is being nice to you, and you're going to squat them seven times. You're going to drop those down, and you're going to hop into seven full kettlebell swings, a super heavy kettlebell there. It's going to be the 32-kilo kettlebell for black zone for men. 24 for women is going to be absolutely awesome awesome. The idea in that workout is that you work for two minutes in the round, then you get one minute off, and we're going through it seven times. I'm not sure if Andre would have chosen that one. Let's say he did. I will give you my choice for this week, and I can't really spoil it. We actually spoiled Thursday Therapy last week by talking about that blend of DT and Magnon, but my workout for you for this week comes on Thursday in the form of a 47-minute cap workout. You're going to be doing a lot of reps. That's okay. The movement's very simple, but there is a lot of reps. And it's a 47-minute cap. It's not an AMRAP. It's a 47-minute cap to get through that workout. So look forward to that on Thursday or that one that I just said there, that small conditioning piece, 21 minutes of intervals that you've got coming your way this coming Monday. It is the start of a new month. Welcome to November. That means that you will see not only in the gym, but in the Innerfight newsletter, some new core and mobility moves for November. We're putting this stuff out on a monthly basis. Andre does a few mobility moves upper body, lower body, and we also put them in our programming so that on days where we feel that a certain part of the body has had a little bit of extra attention and therefore does need a little bit of extra attention, 
you get it through those mobility movements. So they're there. And of course, everyone wants to keep working on their core. I want you to keep working on your core. And I've put another four workouts together there on the board in the gym. So go get it. Or as we said in the newsletter, which you guys can get. What happened last week? Halloween. Halloween. Wednesday for the adults. And Saturday for the kids. To be fair, and I have to say this, and I know not all of you are gym members, but for the ones that are, the kids absolutely blew away the adults in this week, year's Halloween. They were awesome. There was 22 kids, and Yusuf, our kids teacher, had them absolutely dressed up, fired up, and they looked amazing. Some amazing costumes. And then... We had Faye winning the lady, the not the ladies, the adults dress up competition, which happened yesterday. We invited you all to class or to wear to class your best Halloween outfit and Faye absolutely stole it. I think she actually was dressed up like that for school and then she just came into class, but she said she did it specifically for the class. So that's what's been happening this week inside of the gym let's hop outside of the gym this weekend we see the battle of the east a competition that's been going on now for about four or five years we've got two individual athletes going up there in the gcc national competition salem and also omar and then we've got a team as well the two abdullahs and amar so looking forward to see what state they come back in but that's a great competition up in kuwait a two-day competition, so we're wishing them all the best. And as I said, Andre is on his way to the German Throwdown, that competition on Saturday and Sunday. No doubt you can follow him over on his Instagram. You'll be finding out exactly what he's up to, how the events went, and we will debrief that a little bit in next week's update show. Looking forward to events that are happening in the coming weeks. This coming weekend, the 9th of February, we've got the Wadi B race in Hatta, which is a trail run. You can choose if you run it as a team or as individuals. And we have three or four teams in this year, which is excellent. Teams of four or five people hopping in and out of a car. I think they do about 5K legs each. There's two distances there, 35K or just over. I think there's a 70K, 72K loop, or maybe it's two loops of that 35K, so maybe it's a 70K. So we've got a few teams going up there. We've also got a few of the guys that are preparing for next year's Marathon de Sable, four of them that we're preparing through the Unified Running Academy, and they will be up there running. Talking of the Run Academy, it kicks off this Saturday, Saturday the 3rd of November, Project DXB. We're going to be giving a weekly update, and you definitely need to hop over to in a fight endurance and check out what's going on there because those guys are preparing for the Dubai Marathon on January the 25th, 2019. We've got 12 people that have been selected. Some of them are running the 10K. Some of them are running the full marathon. And then we'll have out on Saturday all the other runners from the Run Academy. So you can join the Run Academy on a number of different levels if you have a goal that you're working towards running. Let us know. Get in touch. Endurance at innerfight.com. Staying on the running theme for the time being, we want to wish Arij, who we know is a very loyal listener of the podcast, she heads out to Beirut at the end of this week where she'll participate in her first marathon on Sunday the 11th Beirut Marathon taking over there with her she's taking Kim Smith who's going to run I believe just the half we need to discuss that she's actually recently joined our running academy so let's see we might be getting her up to a full marathon quite soon and Arija's sister Amani also heading down there to Beirut our own cameraman is rumored to be going down as well moonshine i'm not really sure what the update on that is because as we record this he's not actually in the country he's off on another trip on his pilgrimage in saudi arabia which we also wish him the best with but lots of things running happening there. i'm going to give you a little bit more information on my running as well once i've got rid of this last bit of events that's coming up which is a beach workout lock this in your diaries it's on the 17th of november so not the coming weekend the one after at Serenia, a development by one of our gym members on the palm. Absolutely beautiful development over there. And we've been 
invited by them to host our November. We do an annual November beach workout or just coming into the nice weather and we've been invited. They're going to host us there on the beach, super nice beach with their, some of their residents hopefully will come down as well and then they'll become members of Fight, and that'll be great. And also some of the employees from the development company Palmer Holding who developed Serenia. So that's 17th in the morning, Saturday morning. We'll kick off down there about 8, 8.30. Hopefully have some snacks and a little swim in the ocean afterwards as well. What we haven't spoken about, we've left to last. The Dubai Fitness Challenge is up and running. And if you are a resident of Dubai, you will be feeling the Dubai Fitness Challenge this year. It is bigger I hope better. I'm pretty sure it's better than it was last year. Last year was just the first year. This year, they've ironed out some of the errors they made last year, and they've developed something that's really giving the city a buzz. There is nowhere else in the world, I'm sure, that would be able to mobilize like Dubai can. The 30-30 challenge in which the Crown Prince challenges everyone to do 30 minutes of exercise a day for 30 days kicked off last weekend on the 26th of October with a bang over at Dubai Festival City. They had stuff going on the whole of the two days, Friday, Saturday. Now things have calmed down a bit on that front, but what you see around town is a number of different fitness villages. These places are open from the early morning, from 7 or 8 in the morning until late evening. I think some of them are open until midnight where you can hop down, you can get involved in free exercise classes, fun for the kids. There's loads of stuff going on. There's one in Jumeirah Lake Towers. There's one on Kite Beach. There's one in Dubai International Financial Center, the IFC, and there's one out in Kawanij. There's also something happening on the Palm. So if you are looking for a bit of movement, you should be doing at least 30 minutes a day. I presume you are listening to a health and fitness podcast, but please Go down to these places, check out what's going on. The carnival atmosphere is super cool. And there's a load of other stuff going on. If you download the Dubai Fitness app, you can get all of that. Week one of the Dubai Fitness Challenge has been a massive buzz around the town. That is for sure. There's lots going on. In the app, you can join our inner fight group. You can log all of your movement in there, all of your activity in there. And we could actually be one of the fittest gyms in Dubai. We are anyway, of course. But we could be officially, by the Dubai Fitness Challenge standards, one of the fittest gyms in Dubai. So please get involved in that. It is a great initiative. It's free to enter, free to download the the app. And all of their, their villages, their fitness villages are also free. So that's something we really encourage you guys to get involved in. And if you do know some people that are thinking of doing something for 30-30, you could direct them. We've got a couple of classes is running at the gym, one on a Sunday morning at 6.30 and one on a Wednesday evening at 6 p.m. They're a class just for Dubai Fitness Challenge. It's just an introduction to what we do, let people get a feel for what goes on in a fight. For those of you that have been following me, appreciate it. Appreciate all of your support as well. I'm on my own small challenge for the Dubai Fitness Challenge 2018, where I've committed to running a marathon every single day. 42.2 kilometers is a marathon, nothing else. Nothing more, nothing less. Some people have said to me, how long are the marathons you're doing? There is actually only one distance to a marathon, and that's 42.2K, which I've been waking up every morning for the last seven days and going out and doing, and I have 23 to go. And so far, it's been going pretty good. I've had an incredible amount of support, and I just really want to thank anyone who listens to the show and everyone who has sent me a message saying keep going or any kind of encouragement, abuse, whatever. All of them are really well received. And what I'm inviting you all to do is to come and run with me when it fits into your schedule and for however long you want. There's a live tracker that goes out on my Instagram when I start every morning. So if you go to my Instagram, mjd underscore smith, you can swipe up on my story every morning and get the live Garmin tracker. You can see exactly where I am. And because people have been asking to run with me, I've actually been posting my routes the day before. So I've been posting the night before on my Insta story where I'm going. And it has been an absolutely incredible time so far. I've been absolutely blown away by the number of people that have come down and wanted to run 
with me. So thank you so much to the, to the people that have. I'm looking forward this week coming. I'm going to a lot of schools t- today, this morning, Thursday, as we record this. I was at a teens fitness convention and to be able to go and finish one of my runs there and then say a few words to those teenagers who have so many other choices in life. I just hope that they choose to continue choosing fitness as they were doing today at the MeFit convention. So that's a big part of my motivation for doing this. And next week I have a whole bunch of schools and then at the weekend going into some events as well. But I'll be posting up all my routes as I have been doing. If you've got questions, just send me a message in Instagram and I hope that you can join me for any amount of time. It really doesn't matter if you come for 1K, 2K. I've dragged some people around 20K and it's been a lot of fun. So thank you for all of the support and I'm looking forward to kicking into week two tomorrow with marathon number eight. Something not to miss was Thursday's podcast. Why? Our podcast is actually changing slightly, not in content, not in anything but the fact that we're actually going to now host it on a local hosting site as well, which is called Angami. Head over to Podcast 470. Find out what Angami is. It's very similar to Spotify. They might say better. I might have to agree. And our podcast will now be available there. So you don't always have to have it in iTunes or on Stitcher. You can have your podcast. You can have all of your music in one place on Angami. These guys have only been going since 2012. They have over 70 million users. So it's obviously an app that works super well. It's a live streaming music app. And in podcast 470, we had Rami Zaydan on the show and we were talking all about it, how it works and a few really interesting insights into how people consume music and maybe the future of it. I remember back in the day where we had Walkmans, but that's all gone now. Andre actually didn't even know Well, he knew what a Walkman was, but was never exposed to it. So please do go and check out Podcast 470. That is it for this week. That's all the updates. This has been Podcast number 471. Have another great show that I've actually already recorded for this coming Thursday, Podcast number 472. But for all of the listeners, thank you very much for your continued support. And as always, if you do have any questions or any guests that you'd like us to have on the show, just drop us an email, winningnfight.com. We'd absolutely love to hear from you. Until next time. Take care.